Yo, yo, yo. Good morning from Tokyo, although I know in, in for North America, watch this video, it's, um, let's see here. What time is it? 9.30 a.m. Japan, so it's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it's mid-afternoon in California, and in the evening in the East Coast and Central. I'm just finishing up breakfast here, and as I like to do after breakfast, having my coffee, thinking about, reflecting on the day and what I'm going to be doing today, what things I'm going to achieve. Today I got some, actually got some plans, so I may not actually get that much work done, but hey, you, you can't always work as hard as you should or want to every day, and that's fine. I got some things going on in the school, but I want to talk about the two most important lessons that I've learned. I mean, I've been in this physical product e-com game for a long time. I sold off a Teespring, then I sold on Viral Style and Represent, then I opened up a general store where I drop ship stuff from China, and I, that was successful, but although was, I would not recommend dropship as a long-term business model. And then I've had my own beer shop now for one year. Um, I focus 100% on beer, beer related stuff for one year. And there's two things that I think that I really would want to emphasize that I think are so critically important and um, have solved a lot of the problems um, that you know, people have in this business, okay? And so, we're going to talk about those here in a second, but before I get into that, I just want to make sure I gather people on this call. Um, we'll answer one question. If you guys could pop a question into the chat box there, I'm looking at them right now. Pop one question and I'll get in these two most incredible lessons I think that are, are going to save you a lot of trouble. By the way, it's so cold here in Japan this time of year, it's crazy. I mean, literally, I walked out of my house and I almost froze it. And there's always a lag here. Scott, I see how Scott's on, Adrian's on. I always have trouble with your name, my friend. Nidok. Sorry if I, I'm sorry if I did that. So we, ah, Jantan. Okay, cool. Any questions? No questions? If not, I'll get into these two lessons, but I really want to give you guys a chance to ask any questions. Okay, you can go ahead. Um, I will go into these lessons, um, these two points, and if you have any questions in the meantime, you can go ahead and pop them in there. I got a little bit of time right now um, before I got to go, so this can be a little bit of a longer uh, video than normal. Okay, so one thing that I really want to emphasize and and I know this is very hard in the beginning when you're a beginner and you're just you're searching for that winning product and you're searching for that supplier you can work and trust and, and, and things like that and and yes in the beginning I would say this is really hard to do but you want to work towards this okay and that is you should limit your, your suppliers I'm working with two suppliers exclusively that's it and I have zero plans to add new ones in fact instead of trying to add new suppliers I'm proactively communicating with my suppliers and trying to encourage them to add new products that I want and want to sell and the reason being is one thing that got me in a lot of trouble in the past was working with multiple suppliers the more suppliers you have the more chance you have for slow deliveries the more chance you have for no deliveries. I actually had one supplier in China who completely screwed me I mean absolutely screwed me 200 some uh, camera necklaces never sent and, and so I mean I ended up eating that and having to refund the customers it was a nightmare um, quality control issues right I mean quality when the product shows up quality is important so you want the customer to get something that's good so you need to really limit your suppliers to people you can trust and know. I mean, I would say two, maybe three suppliers at the very most is what you want to work towards, okay? You want to strive to that. Now, obviously, in the beginning, when you're, when you're trying to find the right supplier, you're trying to find the right products, and et cetera, and especially if you're dealing with, with China, um, that can be tough. But you want to work towards that, okay? So it's number one thing, I think, is you know work towards um, finding two suppliers or one supplier that you can trust and rely on and build a relationship with. And the thing is, when you do that, They'll bend over and help you a lot because you're committed to working with them and they're committed to working with you. And, and it, this relationship builds and it really helps you deliver good, high quality to your customer. And speed delivery too. By this. If they're, they react and they deliver well for you, it's, it's great. Okay. And number two is that really this is a product driven business. That's the reality. It's about product, right? Now, people talk about ads all the time, but guys, I can tell you right now, 
different types of ads work, right? I know guys who are using different types of ads than I am, and they're getting results, and I'm getting results with my system, and I fully believe in my system. But the point is, the main thing, it's about product. We're in a physical product business, guys. You need to deliver interesting, unique products. So one of the key things in this game is to constantly be thinking about and researching and adding new products. Guys. So if you limit your suppliers the, to people you know, like, and trust, you build a relationship with, and you're consistently trying to bring out new, innovative, cool products, you will have a successful e-com biz, okay? That's 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 the reality. It will eventually become so. Now there's tons of little things around that, but those are the two core aspects I think that you should remember. Okay, if there's no more que any questions, I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut this call. And I just wanna say, look, if you're interested in private coaching, I got private coaching students get results. Um, you can message me and we'll see you in the next video.